<laughs> people of Earth, people of the Dwight Fry Underground Cinema, you're here tonight for a very special event. We have basically the Ohio premiere of Dead by Midnight, 11 p.m. Central. It's done by the same people who brought us The Neon Dead, and this is a great movie, too. Uh, you've got a whole, uh, uh, it's a whole anthology thing hosted by, you know, well, kind of surrounded by a horror host theme kind of thing. You'll see when you get in there. Unfortunately, the horror host is not me. You know, it's, it's a different horror host. But, you know, you'll, you'll have fun with it anyway. Dead by Midnight, 11 p.m. Central. You're going to love it. We've got the uh, creators of the segments in there. Uh, they're going to be uh, talking to us. They've got a spe special message for you guys. So that's going to be great. We've got so much for you guys. This movie is not available to be bought on DVD yet because it's not out on DVD yet. You guys are getting a real premiere. This does not come out in uh, streaming or DVD format or anything like that until next month, until October. So you guys are really getting a special event here. Next month is an even more special event because it's... Guns of the Apocalypse from Christopher R. Mim. It'll be the Ohio premiere of Christopher R. Mim's, mi let's see, post-apocalyptic spaghetti midwestern. That's that's a lot. To, that's a lot of genres mixed up in there. But anyway, you you know our good friend Christopher R. Mim. You guys love Christopher R. Mim. You guys all love Christopher R. Mim. Like, see, we got a couple of new faces here in the audience tonight. So uh, just so you guys know how it works, you know. You know, buy your concessions, yeah, 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 we run a tab for you. Uh, buy your movies, you know, uh, we've got all kinds of great movies from Wild Eye and Christopher R. Mim. If you're not uh, have been exposed to Christopher R. Mim, I might recommend Demon of the Atomic Brain. It was really good. Uh, plus, uh, Bob Gilbert was in it, so, you know, he kind of pays me a little extra if I mention it. There's birthdays in the fan club, so... Uh, on September 6th, we want to say happy birthday to Dante! Dante is fan club membership 00001D. And on the 15th of September, we have a happy birthday to Abby! She is fan club member 000006. So she was one of the early ones. It's going to be a fun time tonight. Also at intermission, I've got Another report in from Nurse Feratu on her quest to find out who she really is. This time she went up to Cleveland, willingly. And also, uh, we're going to have a little Tesla Vision gimmick uh, during this opening segment. So, uh, don't get too scared, because we don't want to get out the mop and you know, clean the floor. So. Hi, thank you all for coming to this special screen of Dead by Midnight, and thank you Dr. Bob for having us. We are the five filmmakers behind the movie you're about to see, and we're all huge fans of horror anthologies like Creepshow and Tales from the Crypt, so we decided to make our own. Hi, I'm Eric Davis. I directed Creepy Dolls. I'm Jay Holloway. I directed Lost Laundry, which you're about to get lost in. I'm Tori Haas. I directed The Wraparound, Dead Air, and also Blindside. I'm Anissa Matlock, and I directed Day 3. Hi, I'm Tony Reams. I directed Jersey Devil. And we're glad that you guys made it out to check out our film. We put a lot of love and effort in it. We put so much energy in it that you can feel it. You can feel it in your pecs and your stomach muscles. It's going to get you busting with love. So, again, if you like Dead by Midnight, we're going to be doing a sequel, Dead by Midnight 2.0, which is going to come out next year sometime, October, to be exact. Right, so if you are feeling it, you can watch Dead by Midnight again <laughs> this October when it premieres at u42.com. And then next October, 2019, we'll have Dead by Midnight 2, which is going to be bigger, better, crazier. Gorier. Yeah, we have a ton of cool stuff planned, so we can't wait for you all to see it. Yes, and you're going to explode when you see it. <laughs> all right, enjoy the movie. Ah! 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 <laughs> and what better way to spend All Hallows' Eve than by watching WKIZ's television special, Dead by Midnight, coming live at the top of the hour. Good evening, creeps and corpsets. It is I, the mistress of midnight, here to fright for your delight. Oh, and boys, my eyes are up here, while the rest of me is six feet under. <laughs> so hear the first of our harrowing tales, the joycey devil. 
don't touch that fire little dial. Presentation. Creepy dolls. Don't touch that by a little dial. Guys, check out the dolls. They're so adorable. Oh, Ben. They're so cute. That is not normal. You all right? Yes, of course. That's horrifying. How did Johnson get past all those dolls? The dolls are staring at us. Get out of here! Get out of here! Dad is hungry. Our next ham of Halloween horror happens when a clean little mouse loses her clothes and she suspects none other than the girl next door. We'll be seeing Amy Donovan and April Lynn cleaning up their act in Lost Laundry. Don't touch that vile little dial. Amy? It's intermission time, folks, so hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, so how are you liking Dead by Midnight, 11 p.m. Central? Man, wasn't that a really bad place to cut that movie? I mean, come on, she just got... Mm, here we go with the nurse. Nurse, nurse, did you get to Cleveland all right? Obviously, Dr. Bob, but look what I found. Janet the Cave from the Mummy and the Monkey Show. Hey there, yes, and something very important came through at the Thrift Crypt Shop located in Lakewood, Ohio, and you can also shop online at themummyandthemonkey.com. But yeah, this guy came in with this antique glass bottle, and inside the bottle was a picture of a girl that looked just like you. Just like me? Yes, along with a note saying that they came from Minnesota, and they were visiting Cleveland in the 1970s. Wow. Oh, I should have brought that note with me. So, nurse, I guess you're off to Minnesota then. Looks like I'm off to Minnesota. I'll see you next month, Dr. Bob. Huh? Oh, this is leading. All right, uh, off to Minnesota. I wonder who she'll run into there. Well, you know, it was it, it was really nice of the mummy to uh, give her some some information there. Janet is such a nice nice horror host. Not like this uh, one in this movie. I don't know about this one. She's she's a little scary for a horror host. How would you guys like having her as a horror host instead of me? Uh, that that wasn't an actual question. You don't have to respond to that. I, I know you guys would much rather have me. So. Also, don't forget that if you're a member of the fan club, you're going to get to keep watching these movies in the off-season. Because next month is our last movie in this particular Dwight Fry Underground Cinema. And then we, the Dwight Fry Underground Cinema will be moving to its new home in Grandview. If you want to watch our movies in the off-season, you've got to be a member of the fan club so you can watch it with password on the live stream that's up on the first Saturday of every month. You find some solace as your spirits are set adrift during our next piece, Day 3. 
starring Eleanor Stewart and Mickey Fitz. Don't touch that vile little dial. Ah! Okay. Ah! She's having a tantrum. I've seen it before. I, I'm feeling my insides are bursting. Look at it. Just help her. I've never lost a baby. And I'm not starting now. Get her. Get her. Ah! Tail. It almost makes me wish I had a man whose chest I could bury my face in. That's it. I'm pulling the plug. What? Why? First Chirk, then Amy, and now Ellen the camera op. Not to mention that woman on the phone. These are not actors. And these are not the movies we produced. Evan, cut the feed. never see the ending coming. But neither will our poor little heroine. She can't see anything at all. But she won't be alone in the dark. And while she prays, I'll be stalking my prey right here in the studio. We'll be seeing Rebecca O'Malley and the debut of Evan Parker in The Lion Side. Don't touch that vile little dial. Final tale this evening, Dead Air, is about a line producer attempting to escape a TV studio overrun by a darkness that she can't comprehend. We'll be seeing Candace Spelling in their final performance. How'd you guys like this movie? Okay, okay, that's okay, that's good, that's good. Next month, remember, because we have limited seating in here, we're going to be doing two shows now. Get your tickets now. Get your tickets, well, okay, not right now. Don't, don't leave your seats right now. Get your tickets after I am done for the next month's show. We will be having the show on the first Saturday, like regular, at 10.30, and then we'll be doing a repeat show, a, a kind of a matinee, at 7.30 the next day. Make sure you're here for either Saturday or Sunday next month, and remember, that's the last one of the season. I'm sorry, but, you know, unfortunately you may have noticed there's someone who's running the show who's kind of pregnant. And, uh, she's going to be getting very due, so we need to end this for the season. So, there's our VR show in Alt Space VR, which is every week at 10.30. And we show part of a movie. It's, uh... We're just wrapping up Attack of the Moon Zombies. I believe next week will be the final part of Attack of the Moon Zombies. And then we're going to be, I think we're going to be doing a Joshua Kennedy movie after that. You guys have been great. Until next month, science!